Corps is getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Got a code lock key. That should help get us in. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking, sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close... It's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team. But I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. Like the console said. Let's head to the relay station. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. The 
These shield masts are protecting against the radiation, but they're wearing out fast. Look at the batch numbers. The outpost burned through a bunch of them. That ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm not a salvager. I'm a pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. <laughs> Expect trouble when we start the generators. Startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. Generator interface possible. Location marked. We've got company.
space station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now, right Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Well, what do you know? The Outpost's research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here, too. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components.
Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. The Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. The initiative only built a few. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you?
radiation levels increasing. Nigel McCoy wanted you to leave his pendant. In honor of his brother, Dash McCoy. Radiation levels normal. Life support is stable. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. structure up ahead.
I'm picking up initiative tech nearby, from above us. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. Random symbols, glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner and Pathfinder. It's slippery, but there's a great view! Who'd be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there? Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? I think that's enough. connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. off or I will push you down whoa easy you've come this far just let it ride I've been studying this tech for months I don't know how you activated those glyphs but you have to let them <sighs> all right time to get off don't like being sat on huh I know I know who am I I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things from Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make a little bot! First tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and pff, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. 
Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Fascinating, huh? Oh, this is the kind of stuff that gets you out of bed in the morning, too. Solving alien mysteries on hostile worlds? <laughs> Do you need to ask? <laughs> A man after my own heart. Follow my nav points, figure out those monoliths, and we can both get some answers. How did you get here? After what happened with the outposts, I didn't expect to run into anyone. I had a ride. I had to fudge the flight plan a little. The Nexus didn't want to risk anyone else. Or let people see how rough it got. Sad. But there's still so much here. And some of us want to find it. We didn't come all this way to sit on our hands. The bots we're seeing. You had names for them? I had to call them something. The Observers fly around spying on anyone who touches this tech. The Assembler ones make other remnant. Not sure how yet. Maybe manufacturing or 3D printing? And Breachers smash into anything they don't like. Which is us. Easy to remember. Is PB a typical Asari name? Never heard it in my Huntress days. Oh, you know things? Good for you. I know other things. It's a name. Good enough and short enough. For now. Is anyone else camped out on EOS? There's the cat, Clancy Salvagers, and one angry old man. Who do you mean? Let's just say he's here to squish Ket, and doesn't care whose gear he tramples. We're hoping this tech can fix the atmosphere and make Eos livable. Think it's possible? Yes. Maybe. Possibly? This tech is so new. I mean, old here, but new to us? Who knows what it can do? How old is it, exactly? It's been dormant for centuries, which I guess isn't actually that old. Huh. But long enough for conditions here to get royally screwed up, if they really are connected. Well, I'll head out. Yes, so much to investigate. Let's get to it. Ket were on them from the start. Portable cover of Ket design. Didn't bother to take it with them. like a war zone. According to survivors, the cat attacked from all sides. It was a massacre. Yeah. 
Nexus not send a retrieval team for the bodies? We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there? Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Yalar Thysa, and get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If she's got family, they deserve... You'd think there'd be more bodies. Not that I'm complaining. Not a lot left behind for a massacre. What if... they were removed? We know the Nexus didn't bother picking up the bodies. You don't think it could have been the cat? Sure as hell hope not. Not sure what's worse. This or dying slow like promise. Happy thoughts, Liam. Pathfinder, I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image of the past. Maybe we can push the cat back. With what army? Can you even find the safety on your pistol? I'm just going through the options. Evacuate or die. Those are the options. Initiatives not military. They weren't prepared. Maybe we can push the cat back. With what army? Can you even find the safety on your pistol? I'm just going through the options. Evacuate or die. Those are the options. Initiatives not military. They weren't prepared. Maybe we can push the cat back. With what army? Can you even find the safety on your pistol? I'm just going through the options. Evacuate or die. Those Initiatives not military. They weren't prepared. The Nexus still wants an outpost on Eos. You know what they say. Third time's a charm. We'll make this right. Lexi, update records for Trinidus Gordanus. Consider it done, Pathfinder. override works, but... Sam, the door was sealed from the outside? Yes, Pathfinder. It appears lockdown was manual, before the power restrictions. Why do that? It wouldn't keep anything out. It would keep something in. Secondary terminals. No access. Sam? If deployment is standard, main access will be deeper in. Way too quiet. Looks like they left in a hurry. Reports said the evac was cut off by Ket. A maintenance bulletin was issued at the time of shutdown. What does it say? Run. Don't let it grab! Override! Close it! Tempest, we have an unknown enemy. Evac the Pathfinder. Whoa, hold on. No go, Harper. We have to lay low. Ket are inbound to your location. Ket and that thing? Son of a... That thing is out there. And the cat? Everything's grounded till they're gone. Another drop! 
dropship with reinforcements. Watch out! Stay sharp! Under site two failed. Brazilian or not.
this component was security tagged for Site 2. Looks like they had some sort of special project going. Let's find the rest. Schematics for Special Project Sigma. They were building something, but there are parts missing. This must be the project they were salvaging at Site 1. A way to fight the cat. We could finish it. All components at Site 2 had security tags.
Pathfinder, that body. A scan might help us figure that out. Not shot, he was just pummeled to death. Well, we know what did this. The cat have nasty pets. West, Porter M. Get that, Lexi? Yes, Pathfinder. Records updated. Look out for anything big and hungry. Resilience is more than a name. It's our duty now. A lot of smart people here once. We're their successors. PB's tech looks like. Imagine leaving all the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. So much riding on you, and then... This time will be different. Right. This is our element. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Karkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. Another armor piece. Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. Remember the early data on Eos back home? When everywhere was labeled H with a bunch of numbers? <laughs> Your dad put those readings up in his office. Knew them all by heart. Wonder what those worlds really looked like then. And now. We're all clear! Pathfinder. The scan has picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkum was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omnitool might shed some light. Pathfinder, this area has been altered by Remnant. There may be something of use. More of PB's Remnant technology.
I've picked up readings of Nexus issued equipment nearby. The person who left this behind, she was part of the first wave of colonists, wasn't she? The probability is high. This researcher may have left data pads at other remnant sites as well. Picking up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Could be where the nest is located. <laughs> 